Hey guys, welcome back. It is time for the New Year's goals and resolutions. All right guys, welcome back. I hope you guys had a great Christmas. I shared our videos from our Christmas. Um, you can look those up below. But um, every year, everybody wants to have new goals, new resolutions for the new year, a new start. And I wanna share with you guys some really great ones that we have um, for our family, but specifically for you mamas. These are really good for your families, for your homes. And I'm really hoping that if we take all of these, I have five official ones, but there's kind of little side ones that go along with some of these. And I'm hoping that if you take all of these, that you can make your home a happier and healthier place. So the first one I have for you guys is to share the gospel with others. It can be so easy to get wrapped up in your own world, your own little life and your own little routine, what's going on in your home. I am so bad about that, about just focusing because we're so busy in our own home. We have seven little ones and it is so hard sometimes to see beyond that. And I want to encourage you guys that that is our mission while we are here, to raise up our little ones, but also to share the gospel with others. So that is my number one goal right now for this year. I have some friends, some are new, some are old, but they don't know Christ or they don't live a life that looks as if they know Christ. And I want that to change for them. I want them to know Christ because that is how they are going to get to heaven and it is so good for them. So um, it, there's so many things that you can do with this. There's um, little books that you can buy for people, little just little snippets, little reminders, or just showing them your Christian heart and your Christian life um, you know, by what, by the way that you act, by the way you live and people watch you and they see that and they think, wow, I want that. And I want to live a life that people want to live. So, um, I, that is my first one, share the gospel with others, but not only to be able to reach people, you know, through the way we act, but also I need to have the courage. I need to have more courage in this world to speak to others whom I know need it. I know that it is such a hard thing to do guys and it's hard for me too. So wherever you go, wherever life takes you on your day-to-day -day journey, it is my goal this year to find somebody. I'm not gonna give myself, um, you know, like one person a week or one person a month or whatever. I'm not gonna do any of that. Um, I just want it to be a life goal as to be the kind of people that will acknowledge and share Christ with others without having to be asked or told or um, nudged or any of that. So we just need to pray about that. Pray that the Holy Spirit will give you the right words, the right situations, the um, just the right, I don't wanna be overbearing. I don't want to scare people with the gospel. I don't want to push them further from Christ because they feel like we are um, so overbearing. I don't want to be that either. So I just want to pray that the Holy Spirit will touch our hearts, not only mine, but I want this to be an example for my children and I want them to live the same way. So they're not going to learn that um, as easily on their own as if they have an example walking with them daily um, leading the way. So that is my one of my goals. That is my first resolution for the new year. All right, mamas, the second one is so important, so important. And it is one of those that is often overlooked. And I had a great dear, dear friend of mine. I'm going to speak about her for just a minute, but she was in a tragic car accident with her daughter. Um, her daughter was, I can't remember exactly, but I wanna say she was six or seven, eight, somewhere in that age range. Her daughter and my daughter were best friends. They were in a tragic car accident and right in front of their church and they both passed away. Um, one thing that her life has always helped me to remember is some advice that she gave me years prior to that. 
And she said, you just need to give yourself grace because God gives you grace. And she was exactly right. And even though she's not here with us today, um, I think about that all the time, all the time. It's like a little voice and she is with me all the time because I always hear anytime I get upset inappropriately with the children or maybe I overreact. Mamas, I know what you're taught. You know what I'm talking about, but, um, you know, there's so many things. You've got a screaming baby. You've got dinner burning on the stove. You've got the washer buzzard buzzing, the dogs barking. Um, there's a mess all over the house and you're just at your wits end. And you just need to remember to give yourselves grace, mamas, because God gives you grace. And, you know, I read something once kind of recently that said, if you could do a better job than the job you're already doing, wouldn't you already be doing that better job, right? So you're already doing an awesome job, mamas. Maybe your life's not Pinterest perfect. Your house isn't beautiful all the time. I promise you, those mamas who post that their house is always beautiful, there's something that has to give, right? So maybe they have a house cleaner, right? Or maybe they're spending all their time cleaning, but they're not getting to the homeschooling part, right? We're all human and you can only do so much. So if you see somebody is shining um, in what appears to be every aspect of their life, remember that they are doing just the best they can. And at some point in there, there is fault as well, just like there is in your own world. So I think it's very easy. That kind of goes with my next one. So I'm gonna kind of blend these, these two together. But the next one is not to compare somebody else's best day with your absolute worst day. So that is something that is so hard to do because if you look on social media, people post the good stuff. Even I do that. You post the best highlights of your life, the beautiful parts, the, the wonderful things. We don't normally post the things that are challenging. We don't normally post, um, you know, when we're crying in the bathroom because the the everything is going wrong this day um we share the things that are wonderful and beautiful so don't compare somebody else's absolute best day with your worst day i know there are so many mamas and i have talked to you guys and i know um all the things there's always something that has to give so many things and i look to other mamas that i myself admire and I ask them, start asking questions, and I start finding that what I think is their beautiful, perfect life is absolutely not. And I, it's so easy to just think, oh my gosh, they do it all, and they don't. But I just want to kind of point it out. There is always something that is not perfect in their lives, okay? And I want you to realize that because our social media is lying to us. When we start listening to social media and we start looking at everybody's perfect lives, we don't realize that some of these mamas have help. There is extra help out there and they are seeking that help. And it looks to us that they just have wonderful, perfect lives, but it's not it's not real. So um, I try to present to you guys our absolute real life so that you can see and compare and see that even our life is not perfect. I have screaming kids. I have a house that's a mess. Um, we, you know, plan to do things and then they don't happen. And that's, that's okay, guys. Just don't compare your worst day. Those days when you are just having everything is going wrong, you're crying, you're upset, whatever. Don't take those days and go sit on your bed and look at your social media and then compare yourselves to all those mamas who have beautiful homes, but they didn't tell you they have a house cleaner, um, beautiful meals, but they didn't tell you that they actually skipped out on homeschool for the past three days. Or um, maybe they have wonderfully um, educated children, but they didn't tell you that they eat out every night and that they don't have time to do anything else because their kids are in so many activities and they're going from place to place to place so many times. There's so just so many things. So um, all of that kind of coming back to a just don't compare your worst day with somebody else's absolute best day. All right, mamas. So the next one is so important. And this is one that I have been working on for years 
and um, you might actually be surprised to know that I am not that great at this, but it is to laugh more. Um, I am a very, it, it seems like I'm, I'm very joyful. I am a very joyful person, but I'm also a very serious person. It was just ingrained from my childhood. Um, I was just a serious and, um, you know, we, we have to do this and we have to do that, uh, follow the rules, those kinds of things. And sometimes, especially when you're raising children, it can be so easy to forget to laugh, to enjoy those messy moments, to um, offer those children grace, forgiveness. Um, yes, they are doing all kinds of crazy things, but maybe they're trying to get your attention. Maybe they have just, my kids do this all the time, maybe they have just ran through daddy's drawers and they're now coming out silly, silly, silly in all of daddy's clothes and his shoes and they look ridiculous. And it's so easy to immediately scold them and say, no, what are you doing? What are you doing? But really they're just trying to, to make you laugh. They're trying to lighten the mood. They want you to enjoy it. And I need to work on this. I don't know if you do too, but it can be so easy to get wrapped up in all of the mama jobs, the mama tasks, all of the things that we have to do. And it feels, it can feel like there's just so many things that you can forget to laugh and have fun and to enjoy it. So mamas, I want to encourage you to forgive, give them grace, help them grow, and just laugh. Just take a moment and enjoy what's happening. Because when you look back at the pictures, it's always funny, right? It's always hilarious and you always hear, one day you'll laugh at this. Make that day today. Laugh at it today, laugh first, and then move on. All right, guys, the last one is so important for the world we are living in right now. Our world is awful. It's just awful. And you guys know it, I know it. Um, you, there's just everything has been changing so quickly and there are so many things that are not good going in our products, in food, in um, just everything. And one of my goals, which I actually started this a little bit last year, but I really want to focus on it this year and really work at it. And one of those goals is to learn to make and use herbal remedies. Um, I want to be able to heal my family on our own. I want to be able to independently, I, there is a time and place for doctors, I understand. I'm not saying we're, we're getting rid of all doctors, but I am saying um, there are a lot of things out there right now, especially right now, that you cannot trust. A lot of things out there. And this is, video is not about that, so I'm not gonna go into all of that, but if you know, you know, and it is not good. So we want to make it one of our goals to be able to live more um, independently, more off the land, more um, able to say, this is for this and this is for that. God gave us these things for us to use. Instead of, oh, I can't, I can't heal you because the store is closed and I can't go buy whatever medicine or whatever. Um, you know, this medicine that's not gonna necessarily help, help you, it's just going to cover up your symptoms. So um, uh, I wanna get more into homeopathy I want to get more into herbal remedies. I already we use oils and things, all of that. I just want to do it more and I want to do it right. And I want to do it in a way that will just bless our family. All right, mamas, thank you for joining us for these New Year's goals, New Year's resolutions. I hope you guys have some awesome plans for your own family. If you do, share them below. Leave me a comment. I would love to know. And if you haven't already, definitely check out all the videos from Christmas, from our homeschool days. And don't forget to join us on Instagram and Facebook. I will see you guys next time.